Hi, I'm Brandon King. I'm the product manager for Billy Goat Industries. Today I'm going to be walking you through the new Hurricane P2000 blower that's going to be available for purchase this fall. This blower produces 3,500 CFM volume at 150 plus miles per hour, and it does it left and right discharge only through these two discharge outlets. It has, it's powered by an 18 horsepower Vanguard engine, and it is driven by 3,100 hydro gear transaxles and is capable of reaching a top speed of eight miles per hour. The machine is also 36 inch gate friendly. It will fit through a 36 inch gate by its size. It's a very, very compact machine. I want to walk you through some of the details of the machine. We'll start back here with the operator platform. Talking about compact uh, size and trailer space and everything that you want to do to try to minimize how much room this machine takes up. The machine does have a folding operator platform to when I get it on the trailer, if I want to save myself that little bit of space, can fold up the platform and save the, uh, save the uh, platform sticking off the back. It is uh, suspended by these four elastomeric uh, bumpers, give it a very, very nice ride for a small machine. So we release the operator platform, comes back down. We spoke about the left and right discharge. We have a patent pending way in which we switch and open the discharge from right to left and to closed. This pedal right here, as I step on it to the right, the doors open to the right and I'm now blowing to the right. When I go to the middle, all is closed. It's detended to the closed position. And when I go to the left, the left side is now open. So that's an easy way for the operator to do that with their feet while they're transitioning and the machine is turning around from you know, going from this direction to that direction. The operator, or the knee pad actually folds up on this machine for easy access underneath the back. Uh, we have easy to access bypass levers right here and right here. Expansion tanks are right here, easy to get to. Very open and, and much, much, much more convenient to get up underneath the uh, knee pad than some of the larger Hurricanes. We get up on top of the console of the machines, very, very straightforward. Mechanical parking brake, so no electric brake on this one, mechanical parking brake, and when the brake is on, steering levers are locked in position to keep you from trying to drive through the park brake. Throttle choke key, very straightforward there. Coming around, you'll see here some holes that are drilled in the side of the console. That is for an accessory headlight bracket. There, that is an accessory kit that's available for the machine that would mount a light up on both sides. We know these machines have to run in the dark in the fall. You know, you need to have the lights. They're available for accessory, and it's already drilled to, to mount them on there. Five gallons of fuel on the machine. If you need to access down to the starter, as this is all very, very tight space, if you need to access to service the starter on the engine, this bolt down here can be removed, and the whole fuel tank will swing up out of the way so you can get in to service the starter on the engine. Down here on the discharge, we have our patented dual airstream uh, on this machine, but it's done mechanically. So if I want to, I can raise one side, lock it in position, and now I've got my blow down, blow up, generate that wall of air. I can do that mechanically. This is done on both sides, so I can set them how I want to. If I want them both blowing straight down, I can set them in a down position for a deep clean. If I want them both up, I can set them in an up position if I'm blowing on turf in high volume, or if I want to use the dual blow down, blow up, uh, to the patent that we have, that's available on both sides. Both, both discharges also have the same undercut, which helps you to blow downhill. On the front of the machine, the battery has been relocated up here. Much easy to get to. Two knobs back here, pull the cover off. The battery's right here. I mean, inevitably, these machines seem to have a, they're going to have to be jump started at one point or another. Uh, so easy access to the battery was, was a concern from other hurricanes. We wanted to make sure that was addressed. And we did it in a way where we put the weight out on the front of the machine with the battery to help with its uphill climbing abilities. Makes the machine far more stable, gets the weight where we want it on this little machine. It's a very, very nice riding machine. Flat free casters out front, also a little bit heavier than a standard pneumatic tire. That gives us a little bit more weight on the nose. Helps out there too. Uh, the machine is also going to be is also going to have pavement tire accessory available for if you're doing nothing but hard surface cleaning and you want to get rid of the turf tires. We'll have a pavement tire available to make sure you don't wear your tires out uh, substantially quickly. So. Uh, that's about it for the walk around on the machine. If you have any more information you'd like to look at, please visit us at billygoat.com. 